Hi everyone, it's Gladys and we are back for another Sono Stories segment. I am in Nuremberg on the community tour with our experts. We have Christian, our solar expert. We have Arvin, our battery expert, and we have a community ambassador, Sebastian. And uh, tell me why you guys are here and not in Munich working. You know, Gladys, it's, it's uh, opportunities like this are rare uh, as development members to meet um, our community in person and get to know their real life experiences and see what's going on in their lives. Totally, I agree and I'm really excited to be here. I think the community picked a good day to be on tour now that you guys are here and you can talk to them. Very cool. And Sebastian, it totally makes sense that you're here as an ambassador of the community, but why in Nuremberg? Why today? Yeah, so for me it's great for one time to meet the, the community in person after just one year of like lockdown. And second, it is a great chance to meet the experts here on site, uh, also without blocking your development time for too long. So I'm very happy to be here. Cool. Okay, so I know that there has been a lot of community questions that they want answered. So you are taking over this and getting them answered today. So I'll leave you with the guys and I'll see you later. Thanks, Gladys. Good luck being a host. You got this. Thanks. Thank you, Gladys. Noch eine, noch eine Botschaft für die deutschsprachigen Zuschauer. Wir haben heute englische Experten hier, englischsprachige Experten. Deswegen machen wir das Interview auf Englisch. Aber es gibt für alle Untertitel auf Deutsch, die man einschalten kann. Okay. And now let's just dive right in. And I brought some questions from the community. So, thanks for taking the time, Arvind. Uh, the first question from your community is in regards of the battery. The LFP battery, and especially the bigger size, was great for everybody. Everybody wanted it, so it's great that you made it possible with your team. The only question that people have is um, that in some press releases you could read that LFP is not good in cold temperature or in some other situations. Uh, did you address this? Is this an issue? Thank you, Sebastian, first of all, for bringing this question from the community. And uh, it is not correct to say that all LFP batteries have this kind of an issue. So we at Sono Motors are aware of the different behavior that LFP chemistry presents, especially when the weather is cold outside. So what we are really doing is by means of thorough testing and validation, we are making sure that the Xeon will not have this kind of a problem. So yes, we are taking care of this issue. That's, that's great news, I think, for everybody on the highway charging with uh, larger speeds or faster speeds. So the next question is an easy one. Um, many people ask for an outlet in the trunk to charge, for example, their electric bikes or cooling stuff, whatever. Is there a chance for a, for a power outlet in the trunk? Uh, right now, I would honest be with you, I will be really honest with you that it's kind of difficult because all the electricals of the vehicle are facing forward. So the next question is about charging speed. The 75 kilowatt hours is, is a kilowatts is really good because it's uh, making the Scion ready for the long trip. But the question from the community is how long can the Scion sustain to charge really above 60, 70 kilowatts? Okay. So um, as you are aware that the 75 kilowatt uh, charging speed that we speak about is the peak speed. And uh, since we have a new battery, we are also refining other components inside the vehicle. Uh, so it's kind of in the design phase and then after the final design release in uh, September 2021, we should be able to give you an update on this one. Uh, however, uh, it is good to remember that uh, the Xeon can still be charged um, you know, under most circumstances for a driving range of 100 kilometers in about 15 minutes. Thank you a lot for that information and uh, yeah, have a safe trip home and I hope to see you there. Thank you, Sebastian. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. 
Now I'm here at the test drive site with solar expert Christian. And I also brought some questions regarding solar from the community. Awesome. And the first question is um, that we learned that the front will be a little bit longer. And will you be able to fit more solar cells on the car when it gets a little bit longer? Mm -hmm. Short answer is yes. We will be able to uh, put additional drove cells mm -hmm. on the hood. Um, overall, we expect thereby the uh, solar yield to increase. Let's see. It's compensating on overall on the vehicle. So that leads right to the next question, which is um, how much minimum solar yield do you need that solar charging makes sense so that the car really starts charging at, at different numbers and uh, you're the expert. Okay. The self-consumption the community is asking for, we have tested um, with the SVC2 around 25 watts. That's the case for now. And we, are, we intend to improve that, so decrease that self-consumption significantly for the next vehicle stages. We also don't want to start right at the edge with the solar charging. 25 watts, you would like get only one watt or whatever, 10 watts uh, charged into the battery net. We still don't want to start there, but a little bit later, because when the sun is going up, you have irradiance um, enough so that's why uh, we also simulated the solar range starting at around 80 watts uh, system power. So very conservative actually in that case. Yeah, thanks. That's actually all for today that we have. Thanks for the answers and uh, keep up the good work. <laughs> thanks. So we are back in the main tent in Nuremberg. Sebastian had a lot of questions answered from Christian and Arvin, and we also saw some um, test drives with community members. They seemed to have liked it, but how did the questions go? I hope you got some answers. Yeah, we got some answers. So I think we cannot put every answer in the vlog as it's too long, but we will wrap them up. And if you have more questions, just feel free to send them in and we, look, we try to get the answers to it. So it was really great. And it's really like the, the old feeling comes back from the test drives and uh, I just can recommend it. Try the new version for yourself. So thanks again Thank and you. hope to see you at some other location Up. with better, better weather. Better weather always. <laughs> so thanks everybody for tuning in and we hope to see you on tour this year. Take care. Bye.